And good morning, everyone, for another morning coffee with Markaida on a Friday. Seems like every day is the same day when you're home, staying home, staying healthy, and keeping apart. Just remember to do your part to flatten that curve. And uh, how's everybody doing this morning? Before everything else, first, let's have our morning cup of coffee, espresso. So, what have you guys been up to? Well, I'll tell you what's going on in this household. It's finding the time to do the things you always said you wanted to do. Um, I was talking to a friend and we were saying, hey, when this is all over, we should do this and do this. When what is all over? As far as I last look, we're still living every day of our lives, whether you're at home or those who have to go to work, the essentials, frontliners, everything, right? We're still doing what we're doing. So don't think of, ah, when this is all done, I'm going to get to do all this. No, do it now. Why now? Because now you have the time. While you have the time, you do things. You start things. You finish things. Uh, one of the things that I've always said that I would do, you know, uh, my wife loves to celebrate Easter, and we have a tradition of doing things for the kids. Now they're much older, but we have not, Ga uh, we have not given up on the traditions. We still do the same things. One of the things we like to do is she'll start some arts and crafts at home. So here's our little project. It's a regular vase or vase right there. And we buy this little stuffing to symbolize grass, you know, for Easter when you're going out there for spring. And you can buy these little stem with tiny, tiny eggs on them. And then you have these little things of butterflies, just a little cut out butterflies that you can do. And if you go to a local dollar store, you can find this little bunny that changes colors. But my part was when she put this all together was to get these little butterflies and just put them everywhere. I even put it on the bunny's ears. You see, now you have a little nice thing that we did at home. It's a nice centerpiece that you would do for Easter. It's arts and crafts with your morning coffee with Doug. And it's a very simple thing to do. But I will say this, all the years, you know, I'd be coming home because I work nights and everything else. I'd come home and I'd see her do this. And I'm like, wow, that's really cool. It's really nice to see that. Um, but I would not take part of it because usually when I come home from nights, I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. And then by the time I get up, it's already made. This time, I actually took part in helping her out because I had the time. Do we make time? You know, we stay at home. And when you say you're going to do all these things, one of the things that says, I'm going to really cherish the time home and make time to spend it with my loved ones doing stuff. If your kid's back home because they have to stay home and they got their online classes and we're done with that, don't let them get stuck and jump in the room and lock themselves in the room and play video games. Do stuff with them. In my case, we're going outside. We're going to work on the yard. And we're staying apart. Of course, it's our yard apart from everybody else. But we're going to put stuff together. And just the simple fact that he's helping me do yard work was fulfilling for me because we're spending time together. Whether it's hard work, it's not hard work, because we're out there, but we get to talk and do stuff. And I'm not an arts and craft guy, but I'd say we did a pretty good job, but I was part of that. The other thing that we like to do is we have these Easter egg hunts, right? Those little plastic things, and we put little stuff and goodies in them. But my wife likes to do paper mache. Yeah, there you go. That's a big Easter egg thing. And all this it really is, is um, it, it's a balloon. You blow up a balloon. And you take a mixture of paper mache, which is, I think, flour, glue, and salt, or something like that. You can get them online. And she starts putting it all around the balloon, and we get pieces of paper, regular cardboard paper, to form the balloon. Once this is formed with that paper, let it dry. And then you, you take a little X-Acto knife, and we cut out the top. Don't cut it all the way. Just enough to where you can flip the top over. And then we fill it with goodies inside. We like to put a lot of chocolates in there, little cute trinkets in there, and lotto tickets because lotto tickets are like a, a dream is for free, right? Stuff like that. And then we close it up, and then you would take this piece of paper and just do line up the whole thing where you crack it open, put some more of that paper mache stuff, and then you line it with paper. Not only spray it, but instead of using the, you know, for the, for the almonds, you use a regular paper like this and colored stuff and put it around. And 
being that we may not celebrate it, we're shipping it to all our kids or the people that we've been spending it on. And it's become a, a tradition every year. They look forward to this because there's a lot of goodies and chocolates and everything inside there. And um, that's one of the crafts and things that we do at home uh, to keep us busy. It's not just doing stuff because you're bored. It's doing stuff with people you care about. I'm not an arts and crafts guy, but I helped her this year. I actually was the guy handing this over as she started putting it on. That's my job. I, oh, very, very creative. No, it was time spent and we go over memories of what we used to do, go over a lot of the stories that we used to talk about and relive a lot of good times as we're doing all these things and the reasons we're doing these things. Um, you, you have to stay busy. Otherwise, you're, you're going to definitely start to feel a lull in, in the, you know, people, how do I deal with being stuck at home and feeling all the depression? Well, you don't have to be, you don't have to do that. That's a choice. Um, you have things to do. Look around you and always, and, and look at the things that you, when I was looking around, I was like, wow, I, I didn't finish that. I started that and I never finished it. How about those projects? What about the things that you started that you never got to finish? Or the things you want to start, but never had the time to start it. I'm going to go back to clearing out uh, the studio I have to where I used to teach. And of course, once the media came along and I left, um, it, it became a storage room <laughs> and a storage for my, my son's stuff. And it became a workout room. I have no place to move in there. So I got to clear that out and bring it to where it was to where um, I can actually do some videos for you guys. Um, some of the trainings I do, or at least uh, go over the basics as I work out uh, on my own. Because obviously I won't have a training partner, but some of the dummies I have there. And we'll get to start to doing that. But if I don't make a list, and, I, and that's what I like to do, is make a list of the things that I want to do. Make a list of six things. Three things that you have to get done, have to, that need to be done, because it's just how the house is going to function if it's not done. And three things that you want to get started, that you want to do for yourself. Check off these lists. You may not get to them, but at least get three out of the six done. Blim, blam, blam, as the day goes. And you'll feel accomplished. Um, it gets your mind off things. You know, if you're having a, you're missing the people you want to see or missing out on things you want to do by focusing on something that you're doing at home. When you focus on these things, it takes your mind away from the rest of the misery that's out there and bring in the things that you can control. I can't control what's out there, but I can control what's in my home. I can control this arena here. This is my home. And I want to fill it with positivity. I want to fill it with feeling a sense of accomplishment. That's an accomplishment. This little guy here is an accomplishment. That's an accomplishment. All this was done yesterday and I got it accomplished because I made it a priority of these are the must things to do. These are actually the nicety thing and the niceties that have to be done, but have to. So if I could put it on well, I could move this to my have to. And the things that I want to get started. I got I got my studio working out got this stuff out and um, talking to people online, getting ideas of what I can do for them uh, in terms of uh, as I'm clearing stuff out. But if you don't find things to do because you don't know what to do, make that list. Make that list of what's going to happen. Now, we're on probably our what second week for some of us as we're going through this uh, the quarantine or self-quarantine or staying at home to flatten the curve and stay away. When you do go out, don't forget, do not let your guard down. Because by now, a lot of people are now getting used to it. Oh, okay, we're fine. We're okay. We're going to go outside. We're going to do this. And we're going to have to go to the... So this is not the time to let your guard down. Remember, every time you have to go out for essential stuff, whether it's for shopping and everything else, keep your distance. The problem with this particular thing is that it's the unseen enemy. It's one thing to see things. It's another thing. When you see people wearing masks, they go, well, the masks don't work. A mask are reminders. If you're trying not to catch it, you know, because it's not sealed and it could be an airborne thing, it's a reminder not to touch your face. You got a mask on. It's a reminder that when you're out there doing your shopping, it's not time to say, you know, to go there, start talking to people or sharing ideas. And, you know, it's not that time. We are still in this place of keeping distancing because we're not going to give that virus a host but when you're conglomerating out there like everything's fine now this is fine i didn't catch it and everything else you're missing the point of what this is all about um you keep distance uh maintain the washing of the hands and everything else when you go there do your business get back home 
It's not the time to say hello. Don't have friends stop by. Don't have family stop by because it really ruins the whole point of it all. If we're home trying to keep everything safe from not catching and spreading, the key word is spreading, somebody comes in and they come out or when you're going out or everyone who comes to leave the family to go get the essentials can always bring back stuff into the house and then what? We just infected everybody else. The mask sometimes in wearing them reminds you that the unseen enemy is still alive. It's still out there. It stops a little bit from the coughing. You're gonna still catch you. It doesn't really do, but the coughing into that, you know, you're reminded of these things. It's a reminder that we're not out of this yet. The spike has gone down, but it's still expected to peak. And especially when does it peak? When we let our guards down. And that's one of the things that you have to be reminded of. So if you don't have to go outside, don't. If you do have a chance to disinfect yourself before you come into the house, do so. Have a can of you know, spray and make sure your dirty clothes or whatever your hand washing is done before you get inside. It goes a long way because you're reminded that we're still fighting this and make sure you do that. But anyways, going back to the lighter things of keeping positive, find something that you're doing at home. Find something that keeps you, you know, interested in things uh and, and tell us over here share with each other like 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 i said for me uh doing this for easter was 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 one of the fun stuff that we did yesterday i still got my studio to clear out i still got some yard work to do and i'm actually going to pull out some of the weapons or the designs i have the blades and uh use them outside and maybe uh, i'll share that with you as to what i'm doing of, of course some of the few things i'm developing i put on a video earlier uh, how do you play carambol Take a look at that, John Johnson, uh, George Johnson from uh, from the UK area put that together and that was pretty cool to see how people will play. And I'll be featuring uh, a lot of my other martial art friends to see how they are actually taking these things and how do you play it and especially play it at home when you're away from everything else. You just gotta be creative with your ideas. You just gotta inspire and create the positivity in your house, in your own place, in your own way. Create that. You may not be able to control what's around you on the outside, but you can create that in your own home. And when you do so, it'll be worth it. And don't only say, I'll get to it later on when everything dies down. There's no later on. Who knows when later on? Tomorrow's promise to no one. What we have is today. We have the time now. Be creative, do something, and create something. And hey, if you got something cool to do, arts and crafts or whatever it is, training or everything else, share it in, in, uh, in this time that we have social media. Use that as a positive thing. It's how we reach out, right? Um, I FaceTime with my friends and my family that I can't talk to or see, and it works. Let's use this uh, arena here, technology, to be able to see others and not touch them, <laughs> and not spread the things, but we can spread positivity, we can spread good things from our own home. It's a matter of your choice. How are you going to spend your time home? What are you going to do with your time home? So it's your choice. I choose to be positive about it. I choose to do the things that I've always wanted to do or finish the things that I set out to do. Doug Marcotti here, Morning Cup of Joe. Enjoy your Fridays, guys. Share with us in here. Put in your post what you plan to do today. What are the things that you're going to finish doing? Take a shot of it. Share. Share. If you're going to use social media, you're going to, speak, you're going to be stuck with uh, social media, let's talk about it. What are you going to be doing today that's unique to share with others to follow? I got my Easter eggs. We got like... 12 of these done. Uh, there's lots of chocolates, little gadgets here, little fun stuff to, to give cheer to those that celebrate it as a tradition of uh, the Easter egg hunt that we like to do. Take care, guys. Have a good one.